What is up, guys? It's Elite Warrior here with Reached. Uh, what's going on, guys? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ascend the Hand of Cole. This is Ascend Hand of Cole. Cool. Cole. Cole. Is that is that cool. that guy? The guy that's on fire? Is that him? Uh, sure. Just, <laughs> before you start the game, you will make a character. You can change his hair, face, uh, eyes. You can do. You can customize your character, and then you uh, have souls. He's pretty ripped. Look how big he is. Yeah. Um, I think you can also choose like a human face or like other kind of like people he's got tiny little people bowing to him all around yep you are a giant that is the kind of the premise <laughs> in this game yeah you can buy armor or get uh, free armor at the bottom if you're uh, cheap it depends but you start out with three i'd go for the free armor <laughs> you start out with three thousand souls and then you can uh you get souls by killing enemies and that's like your currency for the game and that is a weird <laughs> form of currency souls yeah but i mean you kill people so souls do come out so i guess it kind of makes sense but there's no real money of course, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to buy something here. But yeah. He's excited. So the premise of the game is pretty much like to level up and uh, become better overall. and uh, do work for your god. And so uh, here, <clears throat> at the beginning of the game, you literally make like a game-changing decision like right off the start. You have to uh, declare your loyalty to a certain god. I think I chose the void god. Uh, yeah, the void. There you go. That's what it says on the screen. And uh, your cool. your warrior is a chaos warrior, so you either choose the void god, the uh, light god, or the dark goddess. So maybe you like uh, women. Ooh, I want the goddess. <laughs> I want that one. Is she hot? <laughs> I don't. I, you know, I don't. I don't really know. I don't remember. I was. You chose poorly. <laughs> You've taken your first step into the void. But yeah, so you choose a, a, a god or goddess. Depends. Uh, you know, if you choose dark, and um, you get like certain abilities, I think, and uh, certain things that you learn throughout the game. I didn't play it quite long enough to get an idea of how different each character was. But, uh, and you can see other people, I think depending on what color they are, that's what god or goddess they chose, and you can... That way you know who to fuck with. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, there are achievements in this game, and, uh, the first achievement is Bone Collector, 5 gamer score, all you have to do is kill 25 enemies, pretty simple. And, uh, there's enemies everywhere right after you start, so, nothing too, uh, complicated about that. The, uh, second achievement is, uh, Shift of Power, 5 gamer score. Raise three shrines for your god. And uh, I'm not actually 100% sure how to do that, but since it's five gamer score, it can't be that difficult. I'm sure there's, like, locations throughout various campaign levels that you can do that. Yeah. And uh, the uh, third achievement is Taste Like Chicken, five gamer score, consume... Con cons Ooh. What the hell am I trying to say? Consume 20 humans, good lord. And uh, those are, I guess, are like the little people. Cause, you know. Do you think the developers know that humans taste like chicken? Do you think they've eaten humans before? <laughs> uh, I'm, it's pretty I'm kind of afraid to ask. I don't know if I want to play this game anymore. <laughs> I don't want to associate with those cannibals. <laughs> the fourth achievement, Hexmaster, 10 gamer score, curse 20 players, and uh, Chaos Chaplain, 10 gamer score as well, bless 20 players. So you can curse or bless. You get these uh, spells called uh, Crusade spells, and you can affect players' games. Um, oh, that's pretty indirectly. cool. Indirectly. I like that. Yeah. So uh, depending on, you can bless them if they're loyal to your god or curse them if they're not. So you can kind of be like, well, you're not against my god, so I'll help you. Or you are against it. Fuck you. I hate you. <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> So it's kind of like an indirect way to uh, screw with them. That's pretty cool. Yeah. The uh, yeah. sixth achievement, Dungeon Master, 20 gamer score, reach floor 50 of the Endless Dungeon. The Endless Dungeon. <laughs> that's that's too many, too many, uh, too many. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Endless. The uh, seventh achievement, Chaos Supremacy, attain 2,000 points of armor. So I guess once you get high enough, you get a lot of uh, armor points there. The eighth achievement, Killing Fields, 30 gamer score, slaughter 1,000 enemies. And Lord of War 30 gamer score as well. Contribute 50,000 points to the Crusade. And the Crusade is essentially um, who you're loyal to. Like which god. So you can contribute that many points to whatever god you're loyal to. And uh, finally, the last achievement. Champion of the Gods 40 gamer score. Reach level 50 or ascend three times. And ascending essentially is sacrificing your character. And it... Is that like prestiging? Yeah. From Call of Duty. I'm not sure when you do that, but uh, that sounds pretty cool. So, uh... Probably once you're like a really high level. And you're just like... All right, time to become more boss. <laughs> and you ascend. Ascending. Goodbye.